So today we are in The Sims 4 and I currently have no packs. So this is a no um no stuff pack or no mod bunk bed tutorial. So I already have a family made that I'm going to teach you how to make a bunk bed with. Um they have two children and they don't want to buy two beds. They want to buy bunk beds. So that's what they're going to do loading la, 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 la. okay here we are and it's paused currently and it's paused um so what I was going to say is we're gonna go into build mode and we're gonna scroll out. And we're going to turn. So actually, hold on. So we're not going to go into build mode yet. This requires some hacks. So if you don't know how to do it, now you do. You hit shift command or shift control C. And then what happens is this white bar pops up on your screen. And you're just going to type in bb.move. Ob objects. I keep spelling it wrong. This is how you spell it right up in the corner here. BB don't move all objects. And then you hit return. Oops. Then you go here and then you hit return. And BB dot move objects cheat is on. So now I can place stuff anywhere I want. So I can place stuff on top of each other and yeah. So then if you want it in a way, you just hit shift control C and it goes away. So let me show you what I mean by we can place stuff on top of each other. Go to beds. I'm just going to like buy a random bed just to show you. And we're going to place this here and then we're going to place this on top of it. So now we have two stools on top of each other. And we don't want that so we're going to sell it. And we're going to sell it. This does not mean you can place stairs wherever you want, but you can't, but it means like you can place stuff on top of each other. So we're gonna go, what we're going to do now is I'm gonna quickly show you my family. I'm going to need two bedrooms. So we're going to make a two bedroom. Well, right now we're just gonna make the bunk beds and then I'll, sh at the end, I'll show you the whole house. But right now I'm just doing a bunk bed tutorial. So let's go here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the picture of the house and you're just gonna hit the purple walls. And you don't want this tool, you want this tool. And you're just gonna turn it. And hold on, you wanna go to options and then go to um, game options. And if you've heard from other videos, that you're supposed to turn this the Sims 3 camera on, do not turn it on. It disables your ability to turn the screen with your um, keypad, and you don't want that, so just do not do the Sims 4 camera. If, it, if you normally have it on, or the Sims 3 camera, if you normally have it on, then that's okay, but if you do not, if you don't normally have it on, then it be a, it, you don't want it on, is basically what I'm saying. Um, so let's just move it over a tad and we're going to get the square room and I'm just going to build the bunk bed room right here. So make it about mm, this big. It's a pretty good amount. So now you want foundation. If you don't know how to do foundation, you're going to see right here that you can pull it up as high as you want. I'm going to pull it kind of far up. It's a pretty good amount. I usually try to even it. I'm on the Willow Creek's house. And I usually try to even it out with this one. Just because, like, that's a pretty good foundation level. That's too high. You know what? We'll just leave it like this. So now what you want to do is you want to make the foundation look pretty because it's going to be the same one that's in the inside of your house. But I'm not going to. Right now I'm just going to work on, you're going to kind of separate the room in half. I like to give myself about two boxes. Um, if you want to give yourself one, that's fine, but it's easier to do two because you can remove the one afterward. 
So now what you're going to do is, this is the fun part. You're going to remove the floor. Because we don't need it. We don't need it. So then I'm actually going to make the house a tad bit bigger. Like a tad, tad big, better, bit bigger. Just because it's kind of like close up. And you want to make it big enough where you can see what's going on inside the house. I just spent $2,000 on that. Um, so I'll fix that up later. I'll make back some money. But um, now what you want to do is you're going to go to stairs. Choose whatever stairs you want. I usually choose the cheapest one. And you're going to put these. Boom. So now you're going to go to... I hate having a dark room. So let me just quickly fix that up. Buy some windows. I'm just going to buy one window for every wall. Windows are like the lights. They bring light to the room. And I hate a dark room, so... It's pretty good. Now, the walls are going to disappear probably when I delete them, but... Who cares? For now, this is good. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to furniture. And I'm going to look at the beds. So, you let me show you the type of beds you don't want. You don't want a bed like this because it's two, not one. And that's not how bunk beds work. Bunk beds are twin beds. So, now what you're going to do... So, and you could use and i don't usually like to use beds like this either because as you can see you don't normally there's not like a little line coming out of your bunk bed like that's just weird so i like to use either this type because it's not too bad or it's, yeah it's not too bad because it's kind of like flat and i kind of like that um or this bed and this is like this is from no other packs um i usually use this one because it's the best but i usually make it pink because i usually do bunk beds for girls done there's that it's pretty cute um and now you're gonna add the same bed and if you don't know how hold on let me just quickly show you something because this will be useful for later on if you, you just hit the two, like, almost squarey buttons that are kind of like the quotation mark or not the quotation marks. They're the, it's the button on top of the quotation marks without shift. Um, and you, if you use both of those, it can make it bigger. Or if you push it from the top, it will make it um, sm smaller or bigger. And it can be really useful sometimes. I have trouble desizing, though, so if you don't know how to desize yet, I'd suggest you watch one of my upcoming YouTube videos about just how to do this. And this is not my Saturday YouTube video, FYI. This is just, I sometimes, so I just sell it. There we go. So now you're going to turn it um, to here. Um, the turn button is like the, you know what, you probably know what the turn button is. So I don't know how to explain these buttons. So there we go. Now I'm going to do, now what we're going to do is deck or rate. So this technically works as bunk beds, but we want to decorate it. So I'm actually not going to show you my whole house. I'm just going to do bunk beds today. So that's, I'll show you the whole house in one of my upcoming videos. I usually pick this old world wide plank forming because it's like so beautiful and bright. So then you can add floor onto the ground because it'd look weird if it was just grass. So we're going to fix that up. And it's actually less money than the floor. So pretty good deal. Oops. Now we're going to turn it so we can get under the stairs. Then we're going to do my what is my favorite part, but we still got to add lights, which I'll do with that in a second. This is my favorite part. Ready to see what my favorite part is? 
It's so odd that this is my favorite part, but I just love it. Wait, hold on. Let me move the windows so I don't have to, like, lose money off them. I don't know if you actually lose money because I don't add windows very often. I mostly um, just use houses from the gallery. I'm that type of person. But I love building my own houses, too. It's just a lot of work. And sometimes I don't really want to spend hours. I just want to play the game quickly. So then I'm going to move this in. It's my favorite part because it, it's really what starts to get the house to start to come together. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I've still got to... Then you can, I'm going to use the e-dropper to find this. Let's just finish that flooring up. Okay. I may have wasted a lot of money, but I don't think I did. I don't remember. Um, I've got way too many windows, so let's sell some. Sell some. Stop moving. I want the window, not you. Um, sell that. Oh, this window's out of place. There we go. So now what we're going to move on to is the decoration so this is what i usually do if you don't like it that's okay just um it's kind of like a cute print whatever you want to call it go to the kids room then you'll find like this like what's it called what do they call it the colored theory you can switch it to like oranges and pinks and like a lot of colors i usually choose the pinks because it goes with my room and i just put it under the bottom bunk well not completely under but like somewhat under like that and then what i do is i have to add lights but i'm gonna add lights quickly lights let me search it up i may have spelled it wrong there we go um, and this is my favorite light to add. This one. It's kind of expensive, but it does the trick. It's very bright, too, so you don't have to add too much of it. That's one of my favorite things about it. That you don't have to add too much. Because I hate when you have to, like, pay, like, a thousand dollars for lights for one room. And it's, like, really overpriced. I don't like that. I'm adding a lot just because that's what I like to do. Now what you're going to do... Well, now what I'm going to do is, depending on what age you're making this for, this is, like, a child bedroom I'm making it. Um, is I usually go to paintings. Don't pick that. Don't pick that one. Don't pick that one. Where's the one I pick a lot? There's one I always use. For some reason, I'm not finding it. Is that it? No, I can't find it for some reason. Is that it? No, okay, for some reason, I can't find it. If I find it, I'll... Is that my... Oh, I think I may have found it. I pick this one. And I make it purple. And I hang it there. But today I'm feeling a little special actually. So I might change it and not do that. But I'm going to go to, what's that called? Care? Toddlers. Okay, this is for toddlers. And I'm going to grab a desk. Should I maybe pick this desk? I'm going to go with this desk. And I put it right here. But then I make it a little bit bigger. Not that much bigger. For some reason it's not going. There we go. So I made it a tad bit bigger. Not really a tad, but a lot. And then I usually pick for chairs this like desk swivelly 
whatever you want to call it here. And it's too small now, so I'm going to make it a tad bit bigger. Why isn't it going bigger? Oh, it's like raising. Oops, I'm hitting the wrong button. That's my fault, everyone. Perfect. It's perfect. And it may seem, why did I make it so big? Hold on, I'm crazy. Because the, then the Sims are going to like, I'm going to sell it and rebuy everything. I just messed up. I'm, this is, I'm doing something that I usually do for a different build. My apologies, everyone. Um, I promise I will someday make it up to you. But I do double desks for this build. For it. Um, and then I add like the same chair. So that's double desks. I love it. Um, but it's not everyone's thing. Then there's nothing I really. Oh wait, the, there is something I always add. This I put right in the middle of the table. There. Um, and then tissue box. No, that's all I add. So now it's time for the wallpaper. So let's go to wallpaper. Um, thank you for staying tuned for this video. And I usually add the colored plate ones, but in like this blue. Wait, that's not. I don't know what I add usually. Here we go. not brightening up at all I don't know why today it's feeling like a little dark looking beautiful 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 okay so that's perfect so that's all today for the cool child bunk bed room. Um, so I hope you enjoyed and yeah, thanks for watching my channel and shout out to my new subscriber, Lily, who subscribed on Emery's Bedtime Stories, but I'm giving a shout out on this channel. So thanks for watching. Bye. Still recording and I know.